This video demonstrates how to capture images using an optical microscope, a motorized stage, and a camera. Virtual Image Capture is a standalone application to control image acquisition in the microscopy field. Let's create a new acquisition project by first clicking on New Project in the File menu, then entering a project name and a project folder in which the images will be saved. Next, the project settings are defined using the Settings project menu. The lens magnification is selected that will be used for image acquisition, and the image file name format for the saved images is defined. The sequence of image capture is set by scanning order and fields to capture options. There are two basic scan patterns. First is video scanning, which captures images row by row starting from the left. And second is serpent scanning, which captures images while alternating between forward and backward scanning. The Fields to Capture option allows capture of images having a portion that lie within a bounding rectangle or within a bounding polygon or only those images which lie wholly within a bounding polygon. The Focus by Triangulation allows the user to manually define focus locations. It then sets the focus for each image based on the best fit plane to the defined focus points. In this video, the focus by triangulation is disabled. Properties of the hardware can be shown or hidden. The magnification option is set as displayed. Next, we define the settings for sub-image acquisition and stitching. By removing some of the border pixels of acquired images, some optical distortions due to lens aberration and illumination can be removed. Select the task, then image size, to define the size of the sub-image within the captured image. To define the overlap between adjacent fields, select task, and then overlap. This helps to accurately stitch captured fields into one single large image and is a fundamental concept for virtual slides and high throughput imaging. To define the total region to be scanned, we select Task, then Capture Rectangle, and then choose the Columns and Rows method. After this, we select a low magnification objective and then we will click on the upper left-hand corner of the region of interest and then select Set. Following this, the number of columns and the number of rows are set. The same region can also be defined based upon a polygon shape definition method. The location of the center of the current field is used when adding points. Defining two points is enough when the triangulation focus method is not used. To start image capture, first reselect the magnification lens as defined in the project. If the microscope turret is not motorized and controlled by the software, then select the associated lens. Launch the capture process by selecting the Capture command in the Task menu. An option lets the user manually adjust the focus in each field. Then click on Start. The field that is captured is displayed in the Capture window and saved in a file on disk. The field captured are highlighted in the Global View window. All images are available in Windows Explorer. The saved project, star.vai, loads the saved images as a single virtual image into Aphelion Lab and Developer. This image can be displayed as a zoom, as a pan, or as a processed image. 
We encourage you to download a fully functional evaluation copy of Felion and contact us for further information about the virtual image capture. The website adsys.net and AmerinexImaging.com have much more information about Aphelion and its applications.